Hey, this is Dad Trader, and today is September 25th, and we're reviewing my SPY trade. Uh, so when I woke up this morning, I thought to myself that the market might turn around because Friday was a really big down day. And what led me to believe that was um, not only, you know, just kind of common sense, but then also the fact that we see this divergence here um, in the manipulation lines in a tool I use called Big Short. And usually when you see this and it trends down on manipulation tally, um, it goes negative. It actually means that we're going to be bullish for today, which we were. Uh, we did not once go underneath uh, the opening price. Maybe just a little bit, but not very much. Um, so um, what was my trade setup? What was my trade plan for today? I use Rocket Scooter for levels. And so what I was waiting to do is to take a trade off of um, off of this level here, which is the open. Um, this level didn't quite touch this level I missed. Uh, so what I was really watching really closely was this level right here. And as I was examining this, as, as I was watching this go down, it, uh, the puts were coming in pretty aggressively. And I was like, oh, this is probably going to break that support and this trade's going to not happen or I'm not going to enter it. But I had some other clues that the market wasn't falling apart and remained bullish. And those, those clues were actually in big short. Um, so what I had here, what I was looking at here, was um, one, I saw this big, and even heard <laughs> this big golden spike come in, which was a, a put spike, um, which although it was puts, we don't know, perhaps they were selling puts or just offloading them. Um, that was a bullish sign. And then I also saw these two little kind of arrows here. And there's another one that developed here. Um, which led me to believe, and when they kind of look like a little divot like that, it's actually bullish, uh, which all led me to believe that even though um, we were declining in value uh, and it looked, it looked quite, it looked like it might go bearish, it led me to believe that that actually might hold as support. And so uh, I observed this really carefully and I saw these little green um, volume bars come in on this red and this green candle and I went long right in here um, with a very very tight stop and as you can see I went long here at about 40, 429 429.15 ish and I rode this up all the way through previous day's close where I offloaded part of the position and then I exited the full position up here um, at hedge pressure. So this this full move was almost a $2 move. I took a really small size because I'm still getting used to using um, big short, but I consider a $2 move for me is really awesome, especially on, on uh, an instrument like SPY. And that was my trade for today.